thank you uh, to the guys at Capital on Stage for organizing another awesome event. Uh, and to, it's always good to be back at level 39, so thanks for, for hosting. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about me, and then I'll, I'll, I'll wrap about Excel for a few minutes. Um, so you can tell by my accent, uh, I'm from the States. Uh, I moved to London about five years ago from San Francisco. Um, I also started life a, as an engineer, um, but after a brief stint, realized that uh, building a product uh, was very difficult, and uh, building a, a business was even harder, so decided to become an investor instead. Um, so I've been at Excel for the uh, last couple of years. Um, my, uh, my focus has been primarily on mobile software and services and uh, on consumer marketplaces. Um, but we're a pretty small team, so we, we try and be uh, fluent across uh, uh, most verticals. So let me tell you a little bit about Excel. Um, the, the, the headline is that uh, we're very big and we've been around for a while. So Excel started in the early 80s in Palo Alto. Um, the, uh, we've subsequently expanded across the world, so we now have a presence in the US, in Europe, and in Asia. Um, over the course of, of that history, we've made about 400 investments. Uh, I'd say uh, that's pretty evenly distributed between uh, consumer and enterprise. On the consumer side, we're, we're probably best known for being the first institutional investors in Facebook uh, and also in Supercell. Uh, and on the enterprise side, we've invested in companies like Dropbox and ClickTech. And you know, having um, invested and uh, built our pattern recognition um, over you know, almost three technology cycles uh, and seeing our fair share of winners and losers, we've, we've learned a lot. And I just wanted to share um, a few of those learnings with you to hopefully shed a little bit of light on uh, how we're structured and how we think about the world. Um, so the first learning is that um, Innovation comes from places beyond the west coast of the United States. Uh, and uh, the, that's kind of, that point is being exaggerated by things like cloud and mobile, et cetera. Um, and so it matters a lot more uh, you know, whether you have a good team or a good idea uh, rather than where, where your company starts. Um, and, and to make another obvious statement, uh, the you know, venture is very much a people business. And so we have boots on the ground in all the geographies that we, we cover. Uh, the second learning is that um, investment opportunities kind of come in all shapes and sizes. And so we tend to be very stage agnostic. Um, so just to, to kind of highlight that with a few examples, uh, we invested in Supercell, which is a mobile gaming company, but before they had a game. Um, and to kind of on the other end of the spectrum, we invested in Kayak um, uh, once they had an established brand in, in the US and they were looking to expand into Europe. So we, we definitely kind of covered the spectrum. I think if you look at you know, what those companies and other companies our por portfolio have in common is that you know, one, they've got a killer teams, uh, and two, they have the potential to be category defining businesses. Um, and just to kind of pick up on that latter point, I think you know, one of the main reasons why we say no to entrepreneurs in a specific round uh, is because we're not yet convinced that they have the, the their idea has the potential to, to be a, a category defining business. Um, and just to kind of further belabor that point and, and to kind of distinguish between, you know, there's, there's obviously just a difference between a good, a good company uh, and a good company for Excel at any given time. Um, and the final point is, the final learning is um, that uh, success, uh, it's kind of, you know, uh, to re repeat the, the saying, uh, success is the, the intersection between uh, opportunity and preparation. Uh, or to kind of put it in the words of Louis Pasteur, uh, a chance favors the prepared mind. And that quote is, is on Excel's site and, and th something that we uh, firmly believe in. Uh, and while we can't kind of um, you know, predict when we'll find great opportunities, uh, we try and be uh, well prepared. And so we do spend a lot of our time thinking about you know, everything from Bitcoin to mobile gaming uh, and try and form uh, our theses around those, those different uh, spaces so when we do come across a great team uh, uh, or a great idea that we can react quickly. Um, and so we don't make uh, a lot of investments every year. We probably make about 10 a year. Uh, but when we do make a bet, we bet big because we, we tend to have a lot of conviction. Um, so I've got about 30 seconds left. That's all I really wanted to cover. If anybody has a question, I'm happy to field it now or after. Thanks.